Yo. Alrighty, well, uh, today's ride video day. Good day in Seattle. It's supposed to be about 70 degrees, so no humidity. And today, we're going to try out the Ducati. Uh, for those who follow the channel, I just picked up a second bike, a uh, Pro Scrambler uh, Ducati 1100. So yeah, this is going to be my uh, first ride video uh, with the Ducati. Still has the dealer license plate. Hey, how you doing, Harley? Yeah, I'm sorry. You're not going out today. So uh, yeah, this is uh, the Scrambler. Though nothing really Scrambler about it. This thing is... Is a, is a street bike really but you know you got the cafe racer bars and kind of some scrambler elements but I don't think it's all that scrambler like but yeah I'm looking forward to going out um, so today what we're gonna do is we're going to go to West Seattle uh, and hit the El Alki Beach area. It's a really nice street um, where Alki Beach is on. Uh, you get views of the city and all that. Go pick up a coffee, but while I'm doing that, um, getting, a, getting a ride in and a video. Uh, hopefully, now this has a different uh, orientation than the uh, road glide. So I guess one thing I'm interested in is how the uh, camera angle is. So it might, the camera angle, it might not be that great, but let's see. I have a tiny garage, so ugh, I gotta kind of maneuver it without hitting the road glide. That would not be good to hit the paint or something. Clear the saddlebag, yep, alrighty. We're off and running. Now, one thing I've noticed with the Ducati is it's, I, and I've heard this, is that it actually needs some time to warm up. So, why don't we do that? Yeah, I actually keep the ignition on for like a couple seconds. All righty. Yeah, looking good. Sound takes some getting used to. I'm not really used to it. I'm used to my loud Harley just barking at people. Uh, this thing is definitely more street bike, but I do got a, a Termi exhaust on the way, so I'll get that installed. So yeah, let's just get going. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this thing. It's a uh, completely different riding experience than the Harley. I still love my Harley. Yesterday I took both bikes out. I uh, took the Harley to Puyallup, uh, Washington uh, to pick up something at a friend's house. And then uh, took the Harley, uh, hit a kind of a local watering hole, or not a Harley, I took the uh, Ducati uh, to work and then a local watering hole, so it worked out well. A little breezy. Um, glad I wore the the cotton hoodie. I was gonna wear the Clem induction jacket. When you wear that thing, you feel like you're just wearing a t-shirt. But yeah, so what we'll do is, I'll try to just highlight some areas. We won't do the whole ride. That'd be pretty boring and, 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 and make a long video. So I will check in with you when um, I see something that's remotely interesting. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I got my uh, got my debit card. Hit my bar, and they had it from the night before. Bartenders, I tried to hit you up on Facebook uh, to let you know, but I'm not on Facebook. So, um, so now back to the original route, and that is to Alki Beach, West Seattle. Uh, See, take right now taking the Martin Luther King Highway um, kind of to where I need to be this is actually the long way but I like this road 
granted it's a speed trap right around here it's 35 miles an hour into a 50 and vice versa on the way back so you got to be a little careful but i just kind of like it because it's kind of some nice long straightaways and uh eventually opens up to 50 miles an hour four lane highway uh so yeah i, I like this route Only thing about it though, the one thing with the Ducati I've noticed is every cager wants to race you. It's crazy. Like the Harley, I don't really get that. Um, and granted, my Harley is basically a performance Harley, but people see the cager, see the Ducati uh, branding, and they're just like, yeah, let's get it on. Now, I'm a risk averse guy. I'm not gonna, I don't, uh, I'm, I'm not an aggressive rider, frankly. But it's just, it amuses me because I'm sort of like, wait a minute, you're like in a Ford Honda, or uh, not a Ford Honda, what's that? Uh, you're in a, like a Honda Civic or something like that, and, and, and you're going to try to take me on. But thankfully, I'm older and wiser and uh, don't really uh, partake in those type of games. But it is something I've noticed, is when I'm riding the Harley, it's mostly kind of a thumbs up, hey man, that looks cool, you know shit like that whereas on the Ducati uh, every Honda and Toyota or frankly even pickup truck known to man uh, wants to get it on but uh, I don't really roll like that anyway so kind of funny on the way here a Porsche got a little squirrely with me but uh, didn't end well for him so mission accomplished Ducati Well, I had to take a detour as you can see it's quite beautiful and this is exactly what the Ducati is built for I am you know look at these hills I mean I can do this on my Harley no problem uh, but uh, you know this is just a breeze in the Ducati it's just like oh, okay you got a steep grade heel whatever you know you're not really tripping on it um, so I have no idea where I'm going I'm hoping um, I can find somewhat of a main street to get me to the Alki Beach area because that's where I want to go. So we'll just kind of, you know, do directional. I mean, the one thing is, is, uh, you know, with the road glide, I got GPS and, you know, nav and all that kind of stuff. So it's quite easy to get around. Um, this, you know, it's easy to get around, but um i don't quite know where i'm going so also my shifting's probably pretty clunky on this you know i have 410 miles on this so uh you know relatively new uh to this bike so please excuse the uh ridiculous shifting and all that i like to think i know what i'm doing but maybe i don't i'm gonna take a ride up here and kind of see if i can if i effectively got over the street fair and then we'll just go from there bike shifts uh really nice and clean though you know uh i do like that though I've actually shifted into neutral a few times, which is pretty weird. I never do that on the Harley, um, but on this I've done it a few times. And more city riding, you know, going up the hills, oh, got a little bump there, whatever. Just easy. Uh, uh, let's see. I don't know if I if I got past it. I hope I did. Ah, mission accomplished. 
All right, so we're back where we need to be. On the way to Alki Beach. See you on the other side. Alrighty, we're getting close. A little twisty uh, roundabout around here. Uh, I got a cougar in front of me. Uh, hmm. I'm a husky. University of Washington class of 95. But I got some cougar friends, so I won't hold it against them. But yeah, look at this. This is just, you know, steep grade, rough road. Um, and nothing. Just easy breezy. So Alki um, is an interesting area. As I said before, it has kind of a, uh, and actually all West Seattle kind of has a Redondo Beach, kind of Manhattan Beach type vibe to it. So if you look at it, just look how beautiful it is. Um, and it's funny, it used to be actually a big time cruising area for cars and motorcycles. Um, but then the uh, 5 um, the law enforcement basically, and then the city, they were like, uh, they put kind of a quash on it and they started aggressively um, enforcing like the sound ordinance and actually i think if you even if you if let's say you went up and down this street a few times um they would uh, pull you over so yeah oh there's a lot of people now look it's seattle so seattle is, is kind of i mean you know they're 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 gonna be this is a kind of like okay wear a mask type of town um i mean i guess you'll see some people who don't have masks um but uh, a lot of people wearing masks and they're still enjoying the, uh, the outdoors or outside. So to the right is downtown Seattle. Not sure if you can see it. And we'll probably see a lot of more. You'll still see, granted they uh, kind of have cracked down a lot on the uh cruising on this road um you'll still we'll probably still see like some nice cars and and uh some nice bikes going by but yeah that's puget sound to the right of us as you can see beautiful i was thinking about taking the boat out today but it's just not quite warm enough when i go out on the boat i like it to be warm <laughs> at least north of 80 degrees so uh told the girlfriend i really wasn't feeling a a ride today kind of running up against time I got a three o'clock uh, family zoom call dad's down in Texas and that's how we keep in touch but look how beautiful it is you know just to the left a lot of new developments down here I mean Alki's always been nice um, but now geez I don't even know if you can get a condo for less than a million dollars here you might get a one bedroom but yeah, just uh, take in the beauty. Gonna stop at Starbucks, yeah, so Seattle, to get me a, a coffee. I really do love this city, though. I don't. I, I'm serious. I don't think there's a prettier, more adjusted city in in the country. Um, big city, you know. Obviously, you go to a place like Malibu, Malibu, or some smaller places. They're going to be nice, but for a city this size, um, how clean it is, and 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 how beautiful it is. It's. Uh, I feel fortunate to have, to be living here. You get a lot of Lance Armstrong bros, so you gotta watch out for the, the cyclists a lot. Yeah, 
And as you can see on the, uh, the parking is crazy bad here because so many people come to this area of the city to hang out. But with the Ducati Sport Pro 1100 shouldn't be a problem. Nice little crotch rocket there. Do you gotta keep uh, your eyes on a, your head on a swivel though here? Dogs darting out and people crossing the road and not looking, cars not looking where they're going. So yeah, yeah still gotta be uh, smart about it though. It's low speed and easy. And there's the beach, Alki Beach. A lot of people on the beach. Seattle's gotten COVID somewhat under control. And so this is another reason why I like the uh, the Scrambler, Ducati Scrambler is, you know, I'm in low speed riding and on the Harley, it's just not meant for this. I can do it. It's not a problem, uh, but it's fatiguing. You know, this, it's just, you know, I almost feel like I, I can sleep and, and ride this thing. Love seeing ladies on bikes, that's awesome. Break the stereotypes. I mean, hell, I'm a black dude on a Harley, so that's, a, that's breaking a stereotype right there. I did not see that cyclist coming up on me. <laughs> crazy I mean it, this is like pre-covid busyness yeah there's one bar up here to the left where you'll see a lot usually you get a lot of bikers though Seattle is very much a hipster bike town um, uh, you still get a lot of Harleys, but that's more in the suburbs and uh, Puget Sound and kind of the more rural areas. Seeing a few Harleys though. Okay. But yeah, just beautiful. My destination is up here, not too far, the Starbucks. And I'm just gonna park here next to this bike. That seems easy enough. <clears throat> I think I'm, all righty. Well, there we have it. That's a nice Triumph. Bonneville. I was totally looking at a Triumph when I was uh, looking for a second bike. That looks like, uh, yeah, that's nice. So, yeah, there you have it. Um, just showing you kind of a quick ride through the city. The Ducati um, handled it really well. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, please give it a like. If you like the channel and kind of the content I put on there, um, please subscribe and yeah, I'll try to do more videos, uh, in the future. So yeah, um, again, I think the scrambler handled it and I hope I was able to show you kind of how it goes. So, uh, I'll see ya until the next time.